everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make uh, my grandmother's old fashioned meatloaf. You're going to see that I am putting more ingredients in than is called for in the recipe because I'm actually making a double batch. I'm gonna make a meatloaf for us to have for dinner and I'm gonna put another one in the freezer so I have something that's a quick easy meal during the week. We always have those hectic days, I'm sure you do too. If you don't feel like cooking, you just pull it out, put it in the oven and you got dinner. So the actual recipe is one pound of ground beef, a cup of dry bread crumbs, a half of a diced onion. I like to use sweet white onions and I dice it up pretty small. I don't want big chunks of onion in the meatloaf. If it's diced pretty small, then it'll cook. We use a half a cup of milk, an egg, two tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of dried parsley, three fourths of a tablespoon of salt, three fourths of a tablespoon of pepper. You can adjust that to your own taste. And also, at the end, I'm going to coat it with a sauce, which is a combination of ketchup, brown sugar, and red wine vinegar. Of course, I'll put the entire recipe down below so you guys have it. But I'm going to go ahead and start this. I've had the meat out for about half hour, 45 minutes, because I want it to come to room temperature. Because if you put it in the oven, when it's cold, it's going to take longer to cook. The outside is going to cook faster. The inside is going to be still raw and still trying to cook. It's going to start drying out from the outside in. So, if you can bring it up to room temperature, that's going to help. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. And this is one of those dishes where you're going to get your hands dirty. I used to make it in my stand mixer and bring it all together, but I found that the more it mixed like that, it got really tough. The meat was real tough and not as tender. So this recipe, whoops, I'm sorry. This recipe calls for just those ingredients, but I found that I've upped it up a little bit as I said, these are the ingredients that are called for in Grandma Jean's meatloaf that I've always used. But I have upped it a little bit and changed it around a little. I'm using a wet base of sauteed onion and also one of roast beef. I think it just ups the flavor a little bit. Makes it seem like it's been cooking a lot longer. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of each. Like I said, we're gonna get our fingers dirty. There we go. Just get that away. Now I'm gonna to try to make some room here. We're gonna put in the breadcrumbs. I really should have had a bigger bowl. But what you like now? So I'm just gonna go with this. If I make a mess, I make a mess. It's not gonna be the first time I make a mess again. Now let's put in the two eggs. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna break up the eggs so the egg yolks are broken up in here. I'm gonna try a little bit with a spoon to get it started. And then I'm just going to jump in there with my hands and mix it all up. I'm just doing this so all that liquid on top doesn't splash out right away. I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do with a spoon. Like I said, you're just going to get in there and mix it all together. I reach down to the bottom, pull it up to the top, kind of like folding it. Just want to get it all mixed together so you don't have onions in one spot, your base in another. And if you're unsure the first time you make it, you change some of the ingredients around, you can take a small piece of it after you mixed it up, form it into a small little patty and fry it on, just like you would a hamburger. And then you can taste it and see what it's gonna actually taste like when it's fully cooked. All right, this looks like it's pretty well brought together. Like I said, you don't want to overwork this. If you do, it's going to end up tough and dry. All right, so I'm going to kind of divide this in half, half for today and half to be frozen. I'm going to use a large baking dish. And what I like to do is take some bread and lay it down in the bottom. And what this is going to do is this beef, I get like an 80-20. I like some fat in it, so I'm not gonna get 90-10 or crown chuck. The, the fat just adds flavor to it. 
So what you do is you add, start with a layer of bread down in the bottom of your casserole dish, you put your meat on top of it, form it into a loaf, and that bread actually absorbs all the, well, not all, but most of the fat that comes out of the beef. So, there we have a large loaf here. Put it right in the middle. I'm gonna set this aside because we're gonna freeze that. form a loaf here. What you're going to want to do is kind of flatten it out on the top because we're going to put some of that sauce on here to cook. And then just about 10-15 minutes before it's done, I'm going to sauce it again, help caramelize it. So there we go. Meatloaf's all set in the dish. Get some of this out of the way. I'm going to wash my hands. Now, like I said, the sauce is a combination of ketchup, brown sugar, and red wine vinegar. Usually that's what her recipe calls for. I substituted balsamic vinegar. I like the acidity and the texture of it. So we're just gonna mix that up. Those are already all in here. And then I'm just gonna spoon it over, probably about half of it. Save the rest because, like I said, about 10 to 15 minutes before it's done, we're going to take it out. I'm going to sauce it again. Now I've got the oven set for 350 degrees. We're going to cook it for about an hour. You, everyone's temperature on their oven's different. They bake faster or slower. So just check the temperature, make sure it's good, and time it on your oven so you can adjust it for future recipes. So there we go. I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll be back when I take it out. See you soon. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, meatloaf is done. Whew, it's hot. And you can see there's hardly any grease, any oil in the pan. So give it a try. I'll put the recipe down below in the comments and I hope you guys join me again in my kitchen. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.